Yesterday, Anycubic celebrated their fifth year anniversary. They announced a few brand new products, resin 3D printers, normal 3D printers, and also something else, a 3D scanner. Getting the latest news and updates right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how-to, review, news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest videos right in your alerts. And thanks for being here. So on the 2nd of September, Anycubic celebrated their fifth year anniversary. They celebrated during a live stream. And in this live stream, they thanked all the people that helped grow Anycubic in the size it is right now. Also, I didn't know that this company started a manufacturer of 3D printer parts instead of 3D printers itself. During the live stream, they also announced a very variety of new brand new products or products that are much improved as their predecessor or newer models. So in this video, I'm going to uh, look at the few resin 3D printers. Also, I'm going to take a look at the metal uh, 3D printer and also a brand new 3D printer that they are going to release later on in this year. Did I also mention the 3D scanner that they are going to release pretty soon? Well, stay tuned. Now we are going to look at the first resin 3D printers because in this video I'm going through some specs that you also can find in their website or on their website. This dude has just reading some information from the website. And I will do that because I like to bring some information, news and updates. So the first resin 3D printer is the Anycubic Photon Mono. It's a 2K monochrome LCD resin 3D printer. And now some technical specifications about this resin 3D printer. It's an LCD based SLA resin 3D printer or stereolithographic resin printer. It has a resolution of 2560 times 1620 and the accuracy on the X and Y axis is 0.051 millimeters. For the Z-axis, the resolution is 0.01 mm. The printing speed is maximum 50 mm per hour. The building volume of this resin 3D printer is 130 times 80 times 165 mm. It has a high quality X-axis rail. It improves the stability while in motion and reduces the risk of layer shifting. It has a quick FAP replacement and it has a top cover protection. What does it mean? If you remove the top cover during printing, the printing stops or it pauses. It has a 2K monochrome LCD screen. You can print up to 2000 hours with it. So if you want to buy this resin 3D printer on the site as a pre-order, the Photomono are limited with 2000 units. So the price of this Photomono, there are 2000 units available, is 269 US dollars. At this moment of recording, it, the price is 209 US dollars. Let's continue with the Mono SA or Mono Second Edition. So the Photon Mono Second Edition. This is the second 
a 3D printer in this lineup. Some technical specifications about this resin 3D printer. It's also like the other one, it's an LCD based stereo lithographic resin 3D printer or SLA. The resolution of the screen is 2560 times 1620 2K and the XY uh, Resolution accuracy is 0.051 millimeters. For the z-axis, that is 0.01 millimeters. The maximum printing speed of this resin 3D printer is 80 millimeters per hour. The building volume of this resin 3D printer is 130 times 78 times 160 millimeters. What else is so special about this resin 3D printer? It uses a new matrix parallel light source, easier bed leveling, and it has a faster printing speed. The exposure time is around the one second. The printing speed is two or three times faster than, in, than the speed of a RGB screen. Further, high performance Z axis because of the dual lineal rail. Other thing what's so special about this second edition is the Anycubic app remote control. This Resin 3D printer uses also UV cooling system, a cooling device for stable printing performance and longer surface life. And like mentioned, they use a 6 inch 2K monochrome LCD screen. So if you want to buy this resin 3D printer, it's on pre-order at a price of 319 US dollars. I don't see anywhere that it is cheaper at this moment, but the normal price is going to be around the 419 US dollars. Let's continue with the Photon X. The Photon X is also a LCD based SLA or stereo lithographic resin 3D printer. It has also a screen size of 2560 times 1600 in 2K resolution. The XY accuracy is 0.075 millimeters. For the z-axis, it's 0.01 millimeters. The maximum printing speed of this printer is 30 millimeters per second. The building volume of this resin 3D printer is 192 times 120 times 245 millimeters. As you know, this is one of the biggest resin 3D printers of any cubic that they launch, launched during this fifth year anniversary presentation. So, and then some other features on this resin 3D printer, the Photon X. A safer design when removing the top cover, the printing stops. The exposure time of this resin 3D printer is 3.5 till 5 seconds. The maximum printing speed of this resin 3D printer is 30 millimeters per hour. Much faster than the normal photon. A high performance Z-axis because of a dual lineal rail. It increases the stability and also less layer shifting. A new matrix parallel light source ensures a higher quality print. And also this resin 3D printer comes with a Wi-Fi connectivity. And also this resin 3D printer comes with an 8.9 inch 2K LCD screen for better and bigger, larger prints. Well, if you want to buy this resin 3D printer, there are a few prices. For the early bird price, 50 units, 369 US dollars and 1000 units for 419 US dollars. Let's continue with the Photon Mono X. 
Audi Photon Mono X. It has a 3.5 inch touchscreen. It is also an LCD based SLA resin 3D printer. The XY resolution of this resin 3D printer is 3840 times 2400, a 4K resolution. And the accuracy is 0.05 millimeters. For the Z-axis, the resolution is 0.01 millimeters. Maximum printing speed of this resin printer is 60 millimeters per hour. The building volume is like the Photon X 192 times 120 times 245 millimeters. Some of the other features, it has also a high performance Z-axis with dual linear rail and it ensures stability in the Z-axis and no layer shifting. It has also Wi-Fi, so you can use your Anycubic remote app to remote control your resin 3D printer. A 8.9 inch 4K monochrome LCD screen. And one of the other printers that was announced during the live stream is the 4Max Metal printer. It's a 3D desktop printer for metal printing. It can print the 316L metal filament. The problem, and that is something that you should know when starting metal printing. Not that I am an expert in metal printing, but if you are looking also to the advertisements of the Mark Forge metal 3D printers, that's one thing that you will see. After printing, unlike the normal filament printing, it looks very familiar. But if your print is finished with your metal printing, there's one thing that you also sh should do. Yeah, maybe besides removing the supports and the raft or anything, I don't know. When printing with a metal printer, with metal filament, there's one thing that you should do. After the printing process, the next step after printing is the binding. The binding makes the green part into a fully dense metal part. So the next step after the binding is sintering. The bind brown parts are placed in a furnace. The remaining binder is burnt away and the metal power is sintered and dense. Then your metal 3D printing process is fully completed. Then after that, I think you can just go and post process it any further. But there you have your metal printed part. I also talked about uh, the wash and cure 2.0 in a other video two weeks ago or something. So I'm not going to mention that one in this video. So, and then the Anycubic S1. It's a 3D scanner that consists out of two parts. One part where you're going to put your model on top of it. It can be anything. Also good to mention that the maximum scanning volume is 400 times 400 times 400 millimeters. So I think that's quite big. And then the other part is the part where you attach your smartphone in, like a clamp or something like that. And then you are you going to need a app or something that is going to scan your object with. The stand and the plate are going to connect with each other. And then during the process is going to take some pictures. The scanning time is about five minutes. The scanning pre precision is 0.2 millimeters and the files are going to be exported in the STL OBG PLY format. The price of this S1 scanner is going to be around the 299 US dollars 
and the announced date or the release date is going to be in November of 2020. So, and the last 3D printer is a normal 3D printer and this is the Anycubic Viper. The Anycubic Viper is a 3D printer that looks like the... No, I'm not going to say it, but this 3D printer, it looks very awesome. The colors is in gray purple kind of color. It has also stability rods on the back side of the Z axis frame. So the stability is very good. On the front side, you have a little cute draw, just like the CR6 SC. And also you have on the left side, uh, where also the main board is uh, located at, you have a SD card holder and a normal USB-B connector. On the left side, there is a holder for the filament. Further, I can see also a uh, filament run out detection. And I also think that this 3D printer has a 32-bit mainboard in it. Further, I cannot say anything about this 3D printer other than that it looks amazing and it looks very futuristic. Anything else that I can say about this 3D printer is that it is going to be further in details announced in November of 2020, just like the S1 of any cubic. This video is supported by these Patreon supporters, Tony and Shannon. Thank you for your support. You can also join by supporting this channel. Check the link in the description of this video. If you're still watching this video, thank you. You are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. Please like this video and I will see you next time. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sahri 3D prints. Bye-bye.